Good evening and welcome to Hyde Park Winter Wonderland 2019. Yay! We're here and I tell you what, it feels weird for me not being here on the first night of the event. Ah. Normally I'm straight down here, um, straight in there for the first night. However, I've just come straight back from the USA. In fact, I landed this morning. <laughs> Charlotte's come down to meet me in London uh -huh. and here we are. Yay! Are you ready for some festive fun? Yes, this is such a good event. I absolutely love we it. We absolutely the love it. It's so good. It is. Yeah. I mean, I can't wait. Of course, it's always better when it gets dark as well. Um, but of course, with us not really seeing the layouts or anything yet, we've come down here just before um, the sun goes down. I say the sun, if there was any. There wasn't. Um, <laughs> wait for that to go down, and then of course, we'll have a look around, do some rides, on ride footage, off ride shots, and so much more. Just want to say a big thank you to High Park Winter Wonderland for providing us with some free rides this evening. Yay! It's very kind of them, um, so we can take you along for the experience and show you all about it. We're also going to be talking a little bit about the uh, like the season riding card, what they've got on offer for this year as well. So we'll talk about that uh, once we pick it up inside. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. We've got some new rides for this year. We've got a few uh, classics that aren't returning for this year. Uh, so we'll have a little look around and see the changes. Uh, but that is the good thing with this event. They do always keep it fresh. Yes. Some Sometimes there's new bits coming in. Sometimes you think, oh, I missed this, but we've got something else in placement of it. So we'll head in there and welcome to the vlog. It's Hyde Park Winter Wonderland 2019 here in London. Let's go. Well, I must say the ice rink always looks awesome here at Hyde Park Winter Wonderland. And here it is. The season ride pass, Whee! nice design, like a yeah, plastic really nice. card. So a bit of information about this then. So it's valid throughout the whole event. Uh, so obviously it's great if you come in a few times, you can get one of these. You've got to put a minimum of 20 pounds yeah, onto of the card. On, but if you put 80 pounds on, you get five pound bonus. So you get more rides. So that's good, isn't it really? It means if you are coming a few times, especially, I think it's handy you can save some money. You haven't got to keep buying paper tickets. They can be quite flimsy to, like you could lose them. Yeah. Having it all on the card, you can put it in your wallet, or in your phone it's safe and it's if you come in quite a few times i think it does work out well Definitely, I mean, you know, you think about so nice. it, it is really nice. Yeah, of course, you've got all your terms and conditions on the back and they can also be found on the website. But here we go, let's have a look at the map. Let's uh, see where we are. So as you can see at the moment, we're down here on the right-hand side, down near the Blue Gate um, and the Ice Rink uh, area. Uh, you've got all the Angels Christmas Market and the layout itself is very similar to what we had last year. But like I say, we've had a few uh, ride changes, some new ones, uh, some not back this year. So we'll have a little walk around and uh, yeah, do some different rides. So uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. We're also going to get tickets to go and see the circus, aren't we, later? Yes. Oh, you're right there. Yeah. We're going to try and battle the rain, aren't we? Yes. Because the we weather conditions aren't looking great for tonight, but we'll no. see what happens. Like, we will try our best. But there we go. Yeah, we'll have a look around and uh, yeah, let's go and see what this year's event has in store for us. Do love the ice rink, though. It's great round here. It really is. All the lights. And later on in the evening as well, they have uh, performers just in the middle there on the grandstand. So of course, there's so much more here at Winter Wonderland than just the ride selection. We're starting off with a walk through the Angels Christmas Market. And you may be thinking already, wow, it's very quiet. I mean, it's a Monday afternoon. Of course, people are still at school and work at the moment. Um, but later on this evening, I'm sure the atmosphere will pick up and uh, yeah, it will get a lot busier. But it's just nice to have a little walk around and see it all during like this crowd level, isn't it really, Charlotte? Yeah, it's nice to be able to move around but not be cramped. Yeah, just so you can see the layout and get to show all you guys what it's all about um, yeah you've got loads of market stalls i mean there's uh, some in different areas as well but this is like the main section of the angels christmas market euro coaster over there you recognize that <laughs> we went on it didn't we uh, when we was over in the netherlands um earlier this year when we went on our road trip same with gladiator just behind it as well i mean i didn't go on it but uh, that was also at the fair Returning this year, Wild Mouse XXL. I absolutely love that coaster. We'll definitely be having a ride on that tonight. Hopefully it's not gonna rain all night. I mean, it's stopping and starting, isn't it, at the moment? Not too bad. Yeah, Euro coaster's back. You've got uh, the Walsers just over there. I mean, this is like the classic fairground round here. I mean, you've got the Ferris wheel over there. Um, yeah, you know, it's more the traditional uh, rides that make up this section all by the market. Sean's favourite over there, a nice German sausage. A nice bratwurst, <laughs> I love it. Just to the left there as well, of course, it wouldn't be the vintage area without the Helter Skelter. 
So it came to London for the first time last year for Winter Wonderland and it's back in 2019. It's Dr. Archibald, master of time with its absolutely incredible facade. It's a VR ride, I really enjoyed it last year and it's good to see it back at the event. It was very popular on the busier nights as we get into December and on weekends, it had some big queues, uh, some really long wait times and it's more than worth it. Brilliant VR experience and uh, yeah, look at the facade. And we have got the return of the world's largest traveling ghost train as well. It only actually did one year here at Winter Wonderland, but it's back. So we're gonna have a look at that and have a ride on there later as well. Uh, and that's also got a very impressive facade. But first, because it's nice and quiet, I think I might get a good cycle on Hangover the Tower. Who's got a Hangover? We've all got one, here we go. It's time to ride on that beast, 85 meters all the way to the top on the world's largest traveling gyro drop tower. Let's go. Hey, there's Charlotte. See you on the other side. <laughs> Welcome on board, guys. Welcome to three meters. Here we go right now. We start a little bit slowly, huh? First, we just do a little warm up, guys. Here we go right now. Woo I believe I can touch the sky. Come on, join in, viewers. Think about it every night and day. And we're going to drop 85 meters. I believe I can fly, guys. <laughs> oh, a little dance from Charlotte. Yes, we do a little warm up here, so let's go. So, of course, the beauty of riding this when it's a little bit quieter is that you actually get two drops. When it's busy later on, you will only get the one drop from the top. So, here we go. Means that, uh, yeah, we're going to get the halfway point and then all the way up to the top. Incredible views over London. We're battling against the rain, but luckily it seems like it's uh, held off a little bit for the ride. What a time to go on as well, because we get all the lighting. We get to see the layout as well, all the Bavarian village over there. <laughs> what a beautiful time to ride. sit here and chill out for a little bit. <laughs> the operator really likes to tease a lot on this ride. It's a big show though, isn't it? I mean, you think it's, it's great for those off-ride, like Charlotte, who's not a big fan of drop towers. It's great for those on-ride because we get the thrill. This is a large statue outside Wild Mouse XXL with VR goggles on. That's interesting. I've never done the VR on there before, but I know they do it. I've never had that statue before, so maybe he's new for this year. Just chilling out, looking over London. It's a bit foggy over there in the distance. There's the Battersea Power Station off to the right. You can see the shard going up into the uh, into the trees. <laughs> you really get your money's worth coming out at this time. So this is eight pounds a ride. If you are coming to this year's event. Anytime now. Here we go. It was all right, wasn't it? Only a little bit. But don't worry, that's not the end. There we go, here's Charlotte. for a spin what a fantastic show on this ride I love it 
perfect lies in levels. There's Demonium, the world's largest traveling ghost train. And here we go, all the way up. Wow. If you are scared of heights, there's the point where you may want to look away. Because it's been raining, you can just hear the gondola sliding on the tower. <laughs> You can get a bit of Christmas garland on it. Whoa, great views now across London. Hyde Park. Amazing. The shard is literally straight into the clouds over there. And here it is, Winter Wonderland 2019. Here we go. Final destination, as he says, 85 meters. You get such a long ride if you come on here in the daytime. We've been on here now for five minutes and 32 seconds. And we're stopped, ready to drop. Anytime now. Whenever he wants to press that button, he can do where he just keeps teasing. <laughs> Honestly, if you are scared of heights, this is not for you just sitting up here. But a highway to hell. Hell. Can we see Charlotte down there? Yeah, or just my dirty shoes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Woo! Awesome. Las Vegas. I got a hangover. Wow. Love it. Just had an awesome ride there on Hangover the Tower. What, what, what do you mean? You didn't come on. I did. You just didn't. Uh, everybody see saw me. in the POV you were standing at the side. That wasn't me. Charlotte doesn't like drop towers, do you? No. One day I might get you on it though. Do you think? No. I'll tell you what, you will come on though. It's Olympia Looping, yeah. or as it's called here, uh, Munich Looping. Um, they changed it due to like copyright reasons for the event. Uh, they do change the name, but its official uh, name, wherever else it is around the world, um, is Olympia Looping. But here, it is known as the Munich Looping. So are you ready for a ride? Yeah. Let's go for it. The station is absolutely empty. There's no queue, even for the front row. Look at that, that is crazy, isn't it? It's really, really quiet up there. Uh, but like we say, we're spending together a bit busy now as we move into the evening. Uh, what an atmosphere building up there now. I do love it here. Brilliant event. Let's go for a ride on the, this classic. Um, and like I say, this is priced at nine pounds. It's been the same price now since it first came over. It's not gone up, um, which is good. You know, I thought, well, maybe it might go up to 10, but no, we kept it at nine pounds. And well worth it for the world's largest traveling roller coaster. Let's go on.
of Olympia looping. We're gonna try and battle the rain here. We'll see how it goes. Oh, look at that, absolutely gorgeous. And that's the brand new Ferris wheel for this year, straight from the factory for its first outing here at Hyde Park Winter Wonderland. Amazing new Ferris wheel with a great lighting package on there. Are you ready, Charlotte? Here we go. You've not been on this for a couple of years, have you? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Woo! Wow! good hey. oh fantastic as smooth as ever off the front row there of Olympia looping absolutely amazing to get back on that I think you've only done it once before haven't you yeah I've only ever done it once it's just it, the shoulders it hurts like when you're going around they tend to go down so you like it's true that is the worst part of it like because it's got a lap bar that's absolutely fine yeah. and then of course you've got the shoulder pads uh, that do come down quite a bit during the ride they like a spring aren't they but incredible to get on it if you're only going to have one ride on it though definitely towards the back I ain't really well on the front because I've not done a front row for a while so I thought let's go on the front but uh, next time we come to the event this year it is a back row code for that much more intense I mean still intense at the front but the back row is where it's at for me on Munich looping I'm swapping between the names one minute I'm like Olympia looping, then it's Munich looping, I'm like going back and forwards. But up next, it's have a Wild Mouse XXL. Let's go over and have a ride. Entering the queue line, that of course is also a fun house, so you're getting two for one. You're getting a fun house and a coaster. Back for this year, it's one of the nicest presented rides every year at this event, I love it. Charlotte's happy because there's a goat on the side there, spinning round. Hashtag Charlotte spinning goats. Have a holly, Charlie Christmas. Priced at seven pounds. You got a fountain package over here as well. Oh, I do love this. Right, let's go on. Wild Mouth XXL. This 
thing is faster than ever. Oh my God. Blimey. Oh my God. That like hardly trimmed us. Incredible. Well, that was absolutely flying around the track, wasn't it? Blimey. Yeah. Oh my God, I think the fact that it was raining like, yeah. made that go so yeah. quick. Oh that is the best ride I've ever had on that. Yeah. Show me how to fight to get the front seat on there though. I mean, the staff on there were a bit like, no, you must sit in the back. But yeah, yeah. it's one of them, isn't it? I mean, it had no weight up there at all, did it really? But you know, it's one of them, isn't it? But uh, anyway, we got on there and had a great ride on it. Enjoyed it. Brilliant coaster. It is one of the best rides here at this event. What have you just had then, Charlotte? I just had a juicy jacket. Juicy, and how much was it? It was six fifty. A lot of money. I always struggle for food here, and I didn't know they did jacket potatoes, and they do, and it was delicious. And it was from here at the Arctic Lodge yeah. Bar, which is all this seating area behind. You've got the Christmas tree, there's an indoor area, you can get all sorts around here. There's like a burger stand over there, there's a full service bar, and there's this little cheese stall just out here where Charlotte's just had that. I'm also going to get a crepe. A crepe as well. Have you ever had a crepe before? No. She's going to try one. Well, guess what I'm going to try? I've never had before. A big juicy German sausage. Wow. A bratwurst. Never had one. Definitely, I think, I think that's lies, isn't it? We're going to find my bratwurst. Normally about five pounds for those, but we'll, uh, we'll let you know. Oh, I must say the City Star Ferris wheel looks absolutely awesome. And just opposite, we've got this new food outlet. I mean, there's loads of choice here. You've got fried chicken burgers, hot dogs, coffee shops, all sorts, all undercover as well. So that's great that they've put another undercover food area in. You've also got an upside down house over there as well. I actually saw one of those at the Trafford Centre a couple of weeks ago. I believe there's a few in the country at the moment doing the rounds. Uh, but of course, this one's here at Hyde Park Winter Wonderlands. So the fire department fun house is also back for 2019, but with a few changes, as we'll see over here on the left hand side. So you may remember there used to be like a pole at the front. We've actually put in this drop tower over at the side here as well now. So that's interesting. It's included and all built into it. So I imagine that that's included in the price as well, I would say. I mean, it's six tokens for an adult, five for a child. There you've got the drop tower. So I imagine that is part of the experience as well. That's interesting. A shot and drop tower is not mandatory. Oh, so there you go. Yeah, it's definitely part of the experience, but you don't have to do it if you don't want. What do you think to that? Wow. Who needs hangover when you that? Oh, no, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it is the same fire department as what's normally here. It might not be, so I could be wrong, but there we go, it's in action. There we go. It, maybe it is a different one, you know, and obviously we've just not seen this one here before. I'm not 100% too sure, but like I say, when it comes to traveling rides, I'm definitely not an expert. Not like with theme parks. <laughs> but yeah, it's good to see. Something a bit different. So we've transported over to the Disney parks now, and it's time for a ride on the It's a Small World Adventure, which is a new ride for 2019 here at Winter Wonderland. So here we go, I'm looking forward to this. I mean, look at the facade, we've got Big Ben. We've got all different highlights along the back there. We've got the Eiffel Tower. What do you think? I just don't know how to think about this. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking forward to giving it a go. It looks like you're actually sitting in like a Ferris wheel gondola yeah. on like a track system. So yeah, let's go and have a ride. Here we go. So it's five pounds a ride for this one. Let's hope it's worth it. Can you spin this, can you? Oh, oh no, it's just for the, for the yeah, add to it. Here we go. We are actually in like a Ferris wheel gondola. It looks very homemade, this. Here we go. Hey, there's a Statue of Liberty. Yeah, this is brand new here for this year. Small World Adventure. There's the Mona Lisa. See, I do know a bit of culture. Got some uh, camels, Clarissa's behind you. Clarissa! It's quite well themed, actually. I mean, all the roofs themed and everything, look. I like that. Huh? Still think it's a bit weird I was sitting in a Perspex box for it. You get the reflections from everything. Yeah, oh, it is 
very, very well seen there. Give him that. I mean, you know me, I love a good dark ride. Where are we now? Germany? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's weird, that. I've definitely not been on it before. Riding the small world adventure. Enjoy the rest of your visit and to Wonderland. Oh, I like the custom uh, announcement on that. Is that it? Are we coming to the end already? Oh, blimey. Oh, no. Yeah, I think. Oh, <laughs> it's a bit short, that. For five. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's very well themed. Yeah. I don't really like the fact you're sitting in the box, but there we are, that is the end of the ride. Oh, yeah, I don't think that's worth five pounds no, at all. Not. I mean, you've just seen the full ride there. Maybe three pounds, but yeah, five, five is a lot of money for that. No wonder there's nobody on it, but oh, yeah. it's worth giving it a go if you want to see it and you like yeah. dark rides, but I think that's my one ride on that probably ever. But we've had a go. That's it, small world adventure. So we've just been chatting with the guy who was operating that. Apparently it is brand new. Yeah. Uh, it's just been built and it's a work in progress. Yes, it's a um, not finished yet. Yeah, so that's interesting. I mean, I don't think it's worth the money no, of five pounds, but nice it was go. very, very well thinking. Like, yeah. All the roofs and everything were nice on that. And it's nice to give it a go. Completely custom built by three men, he told me. Yeah, so Yeah, fair play to them. I mean, it's something different. I'm glad we had a ride on it. Anyway, let's have a little walk around the top end here and head into Santa Land. And I'll put in some off-ride shots so you can see some of the rides in action up here. Just had my breakfast and it was absolutely delicious. Five pounds as expected. I mean, they've been that sort of price for a few years now. And I tell you what, I really enjoyed it. A uh, big plus point for this year's event is the fact that contactless car payments is accepted in a lot of the different stands, which is great. Yeah, I mean, it's not everywhere, but it's at a lot of the stands that I think is brilliant. So if you've got a contactless card, make sure you're using it for the event uh, if you don't want to carry cash around. Uh, anyway, we're going to show you a little bit of the outside now, uh, an amazing facade of Paddington on Ice. I mean, this show has actually come direct from Europa Park in Germany. They've actually brought it over, uh, the park themselves, here to London for the first First time. Video, and, um, really yeah, we're going to have a little look. Let's uh, spin you guys round and have a look at this. Yeah, I mean, you can tell that Europa Park have had a lot to do with this. I mean, look at the quality of all of the facade out the front here. Brilliant. It's got a really nice depth to it. All the chimneys at the top there as well. There's Paddington himself. I have seen this show at Europa Park. And don't get me wrong, I did enjoy it. Um, but I thought compared to some of the shows what Europa Park have done before, uh, it was a little bit weaker. Uh, however, the fact they brought it over here to the UK, uh, I imagine it will go down really well, especially with it being Paddington. You can see some highlights of the show there on the screen. And like Charlotte just said, there was a little promotional video just for Europa Park, which is nice to see now when we love the park. And the fact they brought this over here, I mean, it looks great. You got a little game stall over here as well. Of course, tickets can be bought here from the box office or online. Loads of different prices depending on times and when you want to watch it. Uh, so make sure you check that out if you are interested in seeing it. But yeah, that's this year's ice show, direct from Europa Park in Germany. It's Paddington on Ice. Europa Park, everybody. We love it. Hey. 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 Here we go, we've got a bit of a parade going on here. Loving the Winter Wonderland umbrellas. Who that character 
is. Do you know or not? <laughs> that have a clue. tickets ready for the circus really looking forward to it uh, it takes place in the big top just over there you got all the nice Christmas lighting out the front of it we just paid £12.50 to go and watch the 8 o'clock showing of course there's different shows in there different times and prices depending on what you want to see but we love the circus here don't we it's one of the highlights for me I love it yeah really look forward to it uh, as you can see over there as well we've got another little flat ride it's got a Mondial top scan and um, that was here last year um, but there is something missing just over here the Hus Magic was in this place last year it was absolutely amazing unfortunately we only had it for the one year it's not come back this time around which is a shame um, I, I was really hoping that would come back I mean it was one of the most beautifully presented rides we've ever had here at Winter Wonderland and it sat right here as part of the circus area last year and um, it's a shame got a caterpillar coaster over there family caterpillar of course you got quite a few different coasters here in terms of uh, you know getting the creds and stuff if you do want to count your coasters or if you ride them just for the fun of it but yeah this is exactly where it was around this sort of area last year standing right now where it was such a shame the host magic isn't back circus circus it was great it will be missed so just around the corner then from the circus area you've got uh, no limit in fact i think it's actually yeah it's part of it isn't it uh, with all the boards on the side um yeah i mean there's nobody waiting for that at the moment but that's another new addition here to the event if we Hello. pan around to there very theme park worldwide on youtube check it out have a nice day merry christmas um, as you can see we've got ice and you up there i mean they've completely renamed ice mountain for this year as we can see do you think oh, oh i don't think it's supposed to be like that do you no. <laughs> but so uh, this has actually been in operation all throughout the year at fantasy island and then uh, mellers group that own it and also own the park have brought it down here yet again uh, it looks fantastic though the nice facade on the front there um it's a spinning coaster with all lasers inside and theming and yeah it's back again here at winter wonderland i must say though they could do with fixing some of the lighting out the front i mean the waterfall's not on you got some flickering lights over there and then they need to sort that signage out at the top but yeah it is back for this year seven pounds for an adult five pound for a child <laughs> So I'm going to break to you all some sad news about one of our favourite ever Winter Wonderland attractions. It's the Alpen Hotel Funhouse. It's been here for many, many years, and this year, it's gone. It's not back. Honestly, we went in it every time we came here. We loved it. It was amazing. It wasn't just a normal fun house. It had like a madhouse and walk through, fake lifts, the wine cellar. It's sad. The ride's actually been sold and it's somewhere over in Asia, I believe now, which it's a shame that we've lost it. But you still got some other fun houses here. You saw the fire department and you still got this one just here as well. This has been coming for quite a few years and it's still fantastic, but I will really miss Alpen Hotel. You've got Danta's Air just there that's back, the Zero Star Shape. You've got the Star Flyer over at the back there as well. A lot of returning classics. But I must admit, from walking around at this stage, I am missing some of the bigger traveling rides that we had here before in terms of some more of the flat rides, you know, some of them bigger fairground machines. It's a shame, really, that uh, there's not quite as many this year. Well, these still got some of the returning classics that's good. I mean, you've got the pirate ship over there as well. XXL off to the left-hand side. But yeah, we've had a good few years for like new additions and some unique flat rides coming over and, and different traveling rides. But this year, just seems like, you know, there's a bit of a lack of new stuff in terms of from a thrill perspective. Uh, but I tell you what, it's great to have the world's largest traveling ghost train back. And that's what we're going on next. It's Demonium. And the facade for this is absolutely wonderful. Let's take you along for the ride. And Charlotte has never done this before. Never done it. You didn't do this last time it was here. It was a one year special, but it's back. So let's go and uh, give it a ride, Demonium.
particular view. Six pounds for an adult. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of chainsaw action. I mean, I enjoyed that a lot more this time than the last time I went on it. I feel like they've done a lot more improvements in there. I mean, I know you didn't do it before, but uh, the trauma tunnel's great in there. I mean, you've got to laugh, haven't you? Alton Towers, biggest park in the UK, has got the trauma tunnel on jewel and they can't fix it. This thing's traveling, it's working fine. Uh, but in terms of set pieces, I do feel like the, the actual ride system moves too quick past some of them yeah, to really appreciate it. I mean, with it being a powered ride, like I say, you just go very fast through some of the scenes. But I really do like it. Um, I, think, I think if you come in here, it's worth the money that. Give it a go. Give it a go. Say you've been on it. It's well themed. It's got an amazing facade. And yeah, I'm glad that we went on it. The rain's actually stopped now. I think we did things in the wrong order, didn't we, really? Well, can't be hells. We'll definitely be back. There'll be at least uh, one more vlog from Winter Wonderland uh, for this year's event at some point during December. So stay tuned for that here on Theme Park Worldwide. Let's carry on doing some rides and capturing the atmosphere from this year's events. to go on Charlotte. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I'm going on XXL. She's going on XXL, the huge KMG. That's absolutely amazing. It's one of the best traveling rides I've ever been on. So are you ready? This is it. Come and join us yeah, on XXL. Can't wait for this. A winner Wonderland. I think she's gonna love it. Great on board, so 
sound system. Charlotte, <laughs> she's okay. Woo. Woo. This thing is a beast. Here we go. It's a good cycle, really good. <laughs> glad that you went on. It makes having the onboard audio because it took my mind off it so I was having a little sing song. Yeah, you got the speakers actually yeah. built onto it which is good instead of just flying through. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, well done for going on. But yeah, the onboard audio really makes it. We got a great cycle. That's the good thing about it being a bit, a bit of a quieter night. I was glad when it ended though. Great cycles. Oh, right, we're going for a walk now through the Bavarian village. So let's have a walk through here. This changes every year. It normally gets bigger and bigger. Uh, the layout again looks very different this year. There's lots of different sections to it, food outlets. Uh, you've got the huge animatronic down at the bottom. Lots of different singers, entertainment. And then you've got the huge Bavarian hall as well. So let's go for a walk through this area so you can see it. I mean, this is spectacular. If you've never been to this event before, it's worth coming just for this. Just to point out as well, it's completely free to go into the venues here. Much like it's a free event to attend. Everything is a uh, paper ride. You buy your food, you buy your drinks. But say you want to just walk around for free and capture the atmosphere, you can do. So that's the great thing about this. Yeah, I remember like 10 years ago when the Bavarian village was tiny. And now look at it, it's massive. It gets bigger every year. in front of him. Absolutely massive. Hallelujah. There we are, you got a little sausage photo point. Love it. It's great round here, it really is. You got another singer going on over here. There's a band going on over there. Honestly, the scale of this is crazy. Then you got the main Bavarian hall. It's all the way down here. Full of stalls. So it's falling. All around me. Children playing. Fun. And here it is, the main Bavarian hall. Look at the size of it, free live entertainment throughout the day. 
every day throughout Winter Wonderland. Whether you're here on a weekday or a weekend, there's always something going on. Look at it. I absolutely love the Bavarian village. In fact, I'd probably say it's the best version they've ever done here at Winter Wonderland. It's huge, there's so much space, loads of bars, food outlets, and of course the main stage. It's excellent, isn't it? Yeah, really good. I love it, man. What are we doing now then, Charlotte? We're going to see Cirque du Soleil. Really looking forward to this. Over here in the Zippo's Big Top. We love the circus here. They always put on a great show. And the good thing is we can share it with you guys. So here's some highlights coming up over the next few minutes.
highlights there from the absolutely incredible Cirque Berserk here at Hyde Park Winter Wonderland. What do you think of the show? It's still one of those shows where I sit there like, because it's just, there's just so much going on and it's just so good. It's 45 minutes, there's so much packed into it, loads of different acts. Yeah. It's non-stop, they don't have like a ringmaster with that show. No. Um, there's no like gaps and stuff in between, it's straight in. And the guys setting up all them different stunts in there, yeah. doing an amazing job uh, putting it all together, it's amazing. For me, it's still gonna be the bikes at the end. Yeah. steal the show uh, five bikes in there and of course when it splits open as well yeah because anything could happen when that splits open but see amazing. the structure shaking you as well see it shaking. it's got a really nice soundtrack in there there's no like pop music or anything it's all themed audio brilliant Absolutely. lighting smoke uh, you've got all the fire effects in there I really really enjoyed it if you are coming here it's well worth the money to go and watch that it's one of the best things at the event yeah that's how I'm feeling too very very tired bear in mind I've had like a couple of hours of sleep on the plane since coming back from New York. Um, so we are shattered. So we are calling it a night from Hyde Park Winter Wonderland. Uh, but it's been great to get to the event for 2019. Like I say, a bit weird not being here for the opening night. Yeah. We're only a few days later than, nor uh, than normal. And it's been really good to come and see it. Um, I have to say, uh, some big highlights for me, of course, Olympia Looping or Munich Looping as the brand it has here um, is still the big highlight here. Uh, really enjoyed Demonium tonight getting on there. Yeah, um, and you've done it a couple of times before and it was here for that one year and of course the circus as well I think the Bavarian village is absolutely awesome I think the new wheel looks great as well and uh, yeah we'll have to do that I mean there's a few more bits here that I want to do this year uh, that we'll do when we come and do a second vlog um, at some point in December this year when we come back for a second visit in general though I have to say I do feel like there is a few rides lacking from this year's event yeah. um, and it feels weird saying that because I feel like the lineup keeps getting better most years whereas this year I do feel like the lineup of rides is slightly weaker than it has been the past few years and um, I don't know what you think about that yeah I agree I feel like you are missing something like some new unique rides yeah I mean there's a lot of like flat rides a lot of traveling rides out there in Europe that um, you know, I would love to see you come here. And we've had our fair share of rides over the past few years come over here to Winter Wonderland. Whereas this year, it seems like some of the new additions are like a, it's like a caterpillar coaster. And um, you've got like the pirate ship, a, a, a sizzler. You know, the, there's things what you can get at other fairs. So I'm hoping next year we have some more unique rides. Uh, I miss like having the break dance and the hus magic and various other unique rides we've had over the years. So hopefully we get more in the future. Uh, well, nonetheless, I think it's a fantastic event. We've had a great time. The atmosphere has been really good. It's not been too busy, so we've really got to soak it all up. And like I said, we'll be back with a second vlog at some point in December here on Theme Park Worldwide. Uh, if you come in here, definitely recommend the Ride Pass. Yes. Like I say, you spend £80, you get £5 for free, so which easy. is technically a ride for free, isn't it, really, yeah. depending on what you go on. Uh, really easy to do. And like I say, what I like about it now is the fact that you don't really have to bring any cash out at no, all now. Because um, especially when it's busy. It's... You can buy the cards online as well. And yeah. yeah. It's so easy to lose money on the floor and yeah. stuff when you're getting things out of your wallet. Whereas now, you know, you can pay contacts for most yeah. food, you can have your ride card for all the rides, and you're laughing really, you'll have a great time. Yeah. I'll tell you what though, that was absolutely awesome. It's nice and warm in there as well. We've come out and I'm shivering after that. Honestly, thank you everyone for joining us uh, for our first vlog of 2019 here from Hyde Park Winter Wonderland. That's been Charlotte. I'm Sean Sandbrook, and next time I come, I nearly forgot to mention it, we'll do the Magical Ice Kingdom. That's the reason why we stood right here, you can tell I'm tired. Uh, we've got the Magical Ice Kingdom all based around a Christmas carol. Do that next time we come down here as well. Thanks for watching, and that means it's time to cue those credits. See you later.